Bob. You've only touched one penis in your life. It's not. I'm not even there. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. This is the weekly dumb and spring training has begun. Ooh, poetry. We <laughs> that was poetry. like baseball. I like baseball Spring a lot. training is the best preseason of any sport. Summer is on the way. The other sports, we don't want to get hurt. This is so the pitchers don't get hurt, but nothing really matters. But something nice happened. Trey Mancini came back. Trey Mancini came back. He was out. Cancer, surgery. He's healthy. He's playing. Standing ovation. Very nice to see. Very nice to see. Yes, Network got a new score bug. So now I need to retrain my eyes. Where do they show the pitches? Where do they show the miles per hour? I need to figure that out. If your team got score a new score bug, bug let us know. Because that's huge. It's you're gonna huge. Ch- you're gonna change the score bug game one day. Yeah, too. I'm gonna make a video about my idea for a score bug. I don't know why it, it hasn't existed yet. Of a revolution. Show the pitches. Sequence. Trevor Plouffe. Add. Add. A rowdy man got ejected from one game. Damn. And that's how you know we're back. Spring training exists. Florida exists. America is healing. Or the opposite. Or it's going the other way. Whatever. 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 Things heal differently. All things I heal. I don't. Mm. All things heal. I don't know if that's true. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> like it as a phrase, though. Oh. All things heal. Yeah. <laughs> Just walk away. What? Depends. Because if like you get a severed leg, like does it heal? You're still sans leg at the end of the day. Without a leg. Yeah. Jim, this week's almost a breakdown. You're going to my Denver Nuggies. Yeah, thanks to whoever suggested this one. It's kind of quick. The Nuggets are down two. They get the ball. They're driving. It's a fast break. Jamal Murray's got it. A two ties the game. He pulls up. Is he going to take the three to win it? No. He's going to pass it to Compazzo. Don't know who that is. Who puts up a three and misses. Meanwhile, Porter is in the corner after the, after the play like me. You were supposed to pass that to me, and I was going to tie the game, and everyone was going to cheer for me. Jim, you'd love Compazzo. Zach, Compazzo highlight here. Uh, yeah, and kind of everybody screwed up. Murray should have shot or passed. Nobody went to the basket. Everyone screwed up. Everyone screwed up. I mean, Murray tweeted out afterwards. He was like, look at this angle, though. Kind of like <laughs> deflecting blame. And it's Good like, well, stuff. come on, man. You still <laughs> screwed up. I'm putting 50% of blame on Murray. And then the other 50%, I'm divvying up between all his teammates, all the coaching staff, even the guy who mops the water spillage, because he had the best angle. Everyone in the building. If that dude who mops up the water just yells, go to the rim, they tie the game. Go to the rim. Go to the rim. Who was that? <laughs> he likes accents. No one knows how he really sounds. Compasso. Next up, more sports. Jake, what happened? Jimmy, I'm coming to you for this one. I need Judge John Boy. Bum, 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 bum. I can't... I got myself in a little bit of trouble. Circling back to last week, Max Homa won the event. We were all excited. He loves Tiger, blah, blah, blah. Tiger gets in an accident. Well, that was pretty scary. We kind of didn't really talk about that here. Anyways, players were doing a tribute for Tiger. There were some rumors about it and then became an official thing. They were wearing red and black. Max Homa took to Twitter and he said this whole thing like, oh, I'm not, I can't, I can't wear the red and black. And I get it. Like there's sponsors and stuff involved, but also like he could wear a red and black shirt or do a tribute another way. And he kind of brought the tweet upon himself. So I got involved. I was a little high on the couch and I told my Gene story, which is all time. But if you don't know me, it comes off as douchey. So I'm pleading one account of douchey if you don't know me, but still like Max Homa could have done something. Other players did stuff. So am I a bad guy? Official ruling. I'm fully on Max Homa's side here. He tweeted out at 9.30 at night, said he just found out about this, was basically trying to say like, hey, how come no one let me know? I didn't pack any red and black. 9.30 at night, they tee off at like 6 a.m. That's an impossible window to get a shirt that has all the designers and logos and brands that he has to rep. He's not a millionaire. He's not like Rory. He's not like any of these other guys that have big time sponsorships. He needs to wear and get his money wherever he can get his money. And if his sponsorship is like, hey, dude, that's a quick turnaround. We didn't know. They didn't know. I think he went to Twitter trying to plead with everyone like, guys, I just found out about this. This is crazy. I wish I could have done something, but it's really late. And then Twitter turned on him because they're horrible. So I think you, were, you weren't you were as bad as other people were, but you were 
on the same line as the terrible people. Yeah. So by fault, you you sided with the terrible. No, I was definitely on the team of the terrible people, and I didn't fully understand that at first. But it was everyone's approach, and other people knew about this before. So saying like I didn't know. Well, that's I what he know. was saying. He was saying, "How come no one told me?" I well, it was I like think Nike. Pe- thing. I think He's people not Nike, did I tell think. him, but other so. people who weren't Nike also did stuff too. Tiger didn't die. The red yes. shirts, kind of like if I was a golfer, I'd be like, "What are we doing here?" It's fun. Sunday red. Red's a terrible color, and Tiger didn't die. So that's my major concern with it. Let's go to not sports. There was not a lot of not sports highlights today. Only thing I found, Jake, that I thought was worth sharing with the people was that the Berlin Zoo celebrates the first gorilla birth in 16 years. Pretty nuts. What's going on, gorillas? Well, my guess, they only have, like, one gorilla of that age. You know, so, like, 16 years ago, maybe this gorilla was born, and then that gorilla had a baby, and then just in 16 years, the next one. That is a very uneducated yes. and probably wrong Probably guess. wrong. Don't correct it. Beautiful picture of the mom gorilla. It is a nice picture. Yeah, it's very Let's nice. breed more animals. Well, that's tricky. What do you mean? Doing it. Okay. I want more gorillas. You think the father's a gorilla? I don't know. I don't know what happens. I don't want to give an uneducated opinion. Like There's that. been some zoos doing some weird stuff. So, but congrats to the Berlin Zoo gorilla birth. That's the only story I found. To do. Lady you Gaga's dog. Do- Lady Gaga's dogs got kidnapped, and, th- and that's yeah. sad. You should read up on it. It's crazy, but it's just sad. I got a dog, and that's not sad. Her name is Maisie. Maisie Maisel. She's sweet, Jake. She's a sweet little pup. She looks sweet. She's a big butt. Okay. Yeah. Animal breeding. Big, big, like. Big backside. My pup, Careful 11 weeks old. No, you'll see it. You'll be like, whoa. I'm not commenting on your pup spot. Okay. It's big. It's the employee of the week. It's an employee eating cheap. It's an employee who's a creep. <laughs> Why would you end it? Did you say it's an employee who's a creep? <laughs> what? That's tough. <laughs> About to win the award, and now they're now no one wants to win it. It goes to Chris Rose. Chris Rose. Newest member of John Boy Media. His show debuted today, the Chris Rose Rotation. He's got six active MLB players as mm. his co-host. Very excited. So he wins Employee of the Week. It's the Rose's rotation. It's quite the situation. Trevor May, Stephen Brawl, other guys, Tyler Glass now, Miggy Rojas. Work sensational. We're sensational, guys. <laughs> okay, kind of got there. Congrats, Chris. First time he's ever been an Employee of the Week, for sure. <laughs> That was the Weekly Dumb!